Hi, let's finish our discussion on the load on the fullest bin. Okay, we previously analyzed the probability that bin 1 have at least k ball that it is uh, at most this and by a factor of 2 like if k is large. And this this if k is larger than 2e then this function will become uh, something like 1 over 2 to the k and this this value goes down pretty quickly as uh, k gets large okay, exponentially right k is in the exponent okay so our goal is to have a currency that no bad events occur okay so what exactly is our bad events okay you wanna say that give a currency that uh, we wanna say something like okay something that we currently is large, right? It's uh, is close to one, right? So somehow we want to say that. So this imply that, or uh, is equivalent to say something we don't want, right? Something we don't want. Don't want is less than something small okay so exactly let's let's define this something that we don't want okay so let's we don't want this right we want to say that yeah we can say that we want to give a guarantee that no no bins get uh at at least k balls right so uh we want to say that okay the probability that even b occurs is small okay so probably of b is something like okay you, we are talking about you know a set of bins right and one of these get high load okay uh this event is far too complicated to analyze on its own like just one uh one big event okay so we want to define a smaller events okay and if you look at this uh event b somehow talks about some bin right and we have already analyzed one bin right the probability that one bin get at this k ball now among n bit among the set of n bins we want to say like uh the probability that at least one of them get get at least k balls so it is natural to define the and smaller events like this so let b i be an event that bin i get at least k balls and we have already analyzed this uh, the probability of of uh, b1 right we have say that b1 is, is at most e to the e over k to the k right so with this definition we have that the probability of even b is equal to uh, because b is like for b to become uh, true uh, at least one of these b i has to be true, true, right? So b is just uh, b one, union b two, union b three, and dot 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 union up to b n. Okay, so the bad event is is a union of uh, some uh, uh, each bad events. Okay, and so our problem become this. Okay, we know this, right? And they are all equal because when in our analysis of bin one, we don't we don't actually use the fact that it is bin one, right? We use the fact that it is uh, one particular bin. So P B one, P B two has they all have a power of uh, one over k to the k, right? Now we wanna we wanna about the probability of B. Okay. Let's have a quick check. Uh, are B one and B two independent? If you actually calculate the probability, you can show that they are not. They are not independent. But uh, you can think of it this way. So if there's one bin that get gets a lot of load, right? The probability that another bin also gets a lot of load is, is lower because like a lot of balls has already fallen into one of the bin. Okay? So they're not independent. They are dependent. So uh, it will possibly be hard to find the exact value of this right because you remember 
if we have only two events com to compute this kind of thing require a lot of uh, analysis and if you have n n n events you actually need to use the inclusion inclusion exclusion principle that we haven't covered that much okay okay so um, we kind of doom right are we doom okay so uh we, we're not we're not quite um because we want we want what we want is that we want to say that something bad does not occur right so it's okay that to say that uh is at most something small something small instead of finding the exact value okay so we, we don't actually want to bound the probability of b which is the probability of b uh, I should use this consistent notation b1 union b2 union up to bn we don't want to find the exact value, value here we are satisfied to have something small as an upper bound on this value okay so uh, what are the tools that we can use okay so we, we know each each value of this right the probability of b1 b2 and we know that we need to consider the worst case I mean if we, we have an upper bound it will be fine right so if you recall previously if we have two events okay the union can get uh, largest uh, when they're not intersect right if they intersect somehow like this then the union will be less than the sum right but if they are mutually disjoint it will be the the sum right and this is the worst possible case so formally we have this uh, union bound okay that we have already discussed so the union of all these events right is at most the sum of the probability of each event so the bad thing occurs when all the bad events are mutually disjoint mutually exclusive so we can use this union bound to compute the probability of b so the probability of b is uh no, sorry is equal to the probability of b1 union b2 union dot 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 up to bn and from the union bar we say that this is at most the sum 1 to n times uh, the probability of uh, bi okay and this is uh, from our p previous analysis we know that this is at most e to over k to the k okay and there are n of them and they're all equal right so this is uh, this okay so we know that the probability of uh, b is uh, at most this okay now we want to say that probability of b which is uh, somehow we have analyzed that it is at most uh, e this is small right what does it mean for something to be small there are many ways to say that one is to say that it is small with constant probabilities so we want to say that something like uh, the currently that probability of b is less than say one percent zero so it's zero one percent okay and this is say like uh, in one percent you're good right but uh, maybe you want uh, uh, 0 0.001 and this is also small right so in one in a thousand right however this this constant probability is not uh, sometimes it's not strong enough because if you do that something many times then um, it would occur right if you it occur with constant probability um, there's a stronger uh, bound uh, way to say that uh, something occur with high probabilities so you want to say that our guarantee occurs our guarantee this is uh, no no bin gets more than uh, get at least k, bit, k balls okay occurs with high probabilities okay so this means that the bad event okay the bad event so if b complement occur with high probability it would mean that the probability of the bad event is less than 
one over n to the some power uh, alpha. Okay, alpha has to be at least at least one. Okay, so this means as n grows, okay, in the case you have more and more bins, uh, this probability goes to zero. Okay, so if it, that's the case, then we say that. Uh, um, uh, the good things occur with high probabilities, so the probability is high. But if uh, it's uh, with constant probability, means like it's it's a constant. Okay, so this thing is stronger because it goes to zero as n gets large, but this one remains roughly the same. Okay, so let's compute the final bound. Okay, so the final bound. Okay, uh, all right. So we want to prove this, okay, with n, n, 1 over n, right? So we want to say that uh, PB is at, at most 1 over, say, 1 over n, okay? So let's leave C out there. We, we, we will do that in the practice. We want to say that this, we want to go. So we want to find the bound on K. So p p of b is is at, at most we know that it is more at most e to the k over k, right? So we want this to be at at most uh, one over n, right? Okay. So um, if we try to figure out the value of k uh, directly, it will be kind of hard. So we we're gonna get some crude bow for it. Okay. So first of all, we assume that k is at least 2e so that we can uh, simplify our bound so if we assume that k is at least uh, 1 over 2e so our term become this to the k n so you want to find a value of k that satisfy this uh, equations so if uh, you divide everything by n and then uh, take log okay so take log of 2, right? So you're going to get, if you divide the thing by n, so you get this to be n square. And then you take the log, so, so you get, uh, um, you can either take the log or or, or turn everything upside down. Um, so let's take the log, okay? So you get that log of 1 over 2 times k, okay? has to be... Uh, less than or equal to uh, log of 1 over n square, right? Now, uh, the log of 1 over something is minus, right? Um, uh, so uh, if you do the calculation, you're going to get, uh, so this is minus, uh, minus 1, so th and this is minus log n, n square, right? So uh, if you, you cannot just say that k is at, at least something but th because this is negative so if you multiply everything throughout with this, some negative this is the size switch right so you're gonna have k to be at least log n square and that's uh, 2 log of n something like that all right so it, k has to be in the order of log n okay so if k is Okay, in the order of log n, this this probability is go to one over n. Okay, so this is our bound on the uh, uh, the load on the maximum bin, uh, the 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 fullest bin. Okay, sorry, this is kind of uh, uh, technical, but um, um, we get the bound right. So the final bound is uh, the load. We have the guarantee that uh, the load max load load is at most uh, 2 log n with high probability okay so that's the the final punchline of our analysis all right okay that's it uh, I'll see you in some other clips thank you